is a dangerous recall involving your brakes. But what happens when the problem exists, but you can't prove it? And 41 Action News investigator Jessica McMaster gets answers from one man and hundreds of other drivers who say they've been trying to get help for months. My adrenaline was pumping. Imagine cruising along the highway when things come to a screeching halt. I had to slam my brakes. And yours don't work. And then the pedal went to the floor. It was late 2017. Scott Ellis was driving his 2009 Nissan Murano. I hit the seam where the bridge starts and it created a bump which activated my ABS system. Ellis says he took his SUV to a local Nissan dealership where staff reprogrammed his anti-lock braking system. But then just a few months ago, it happened again, this time when hitting the ice. Ellis had one thought. Um, don't die. Nissan issued a voluntary service campaign where dealers were advised to flush the brake fluid and inspect the ABS actuator, something Ellis had done, but he says it didn't fix the problem. They will not replace the defective part. Nissan issued a safety recall just this month, saying the issue could impact up to 58,000 Muranos. We spoke with a safety manager with Nissan's corporate offices who says Ellis's car is not part of the recall, that they believe his brakes work as they're supposed to. They need to take care of their customers. They need to fix this problem and stop denying that it exists. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration shows more than 200 people have filed complaints about their ABS issues. Some include crash Crashes, many of which came in months before the recall. One person writes, when approaching a red light, my vehicle slowed down, but did not come to a complete stop. That person went through the intersection. Three months later, the same thing happened on the highway. The driver says, like the case with Ellis, Nissan can't identify the issue. And the same complaints repeat over and over again. It's annoying, but sometimes frightening. Um, it's more maddening than anything else because I know that it should be fixed. I know why it's happening and I know that the company the behind, who's behind the issue is not doing what they should to take care of it. A common complaint we found with this recall is that the dealerships can't get the issue to replicate itself. Nissan can't identify the problem, so it doesn't fix it. I'm investigator Jessica McMaster, 41 Action News. All right, Jess, thanks. Nissan told 41 Action News it's committed to the safety and security of its customers and their passengers.